Hey, what up guys? Theos is here, and today is the weekly reset here in Destiny 2. You know I got you covered for the newest items available for Bright Dust and more, so let's jump into it. So first we have the Hold That Pose emote. The Solar Sails Exotic Ship. Capsule Gang Entrance Transmat Effect. The Meditator Shader The Bug Catching Exotic Emote The Paul Bearer Exotic Ship The Sweden Brace Ornament for Omni Oculus The Terminus Emissary Ornament for Falling Star. I'm going to butcher this, but the Nove Filigree Ornament for Necrotic Grip. The Standard Bearer Ornament for Suros Regime. And finally, the Hourglass Ghost Projection. This week's Nightfall is the Scarlet Keep, and will serve as the first Grand Master for this season. You'll receive bonus Vanguard reputation for jumping in, and upon completion, a chance at receiving Adept Palindrome and Plug 1. You'll definitely want to farm these weapons, as both spawn with the new Origin traits Stunning Recovery and Vanguard's Vindication. The former partially refills your magazine, triggers health regen, and improves recovery for stunning a champion. The latter grants a small amount of health for final blows. The Crucible Rotator for this week is Mayhem. There are no bonuses, but be sure to jump in for a fast and easy pinnacle drop. This week in Gambit you will receive bonus infamy upon match completions. We also see the arrival of the new Gambit Labs Invasion Swap Mode, so be sure to keep that in mind if it's something you're interested in. The Wellspring mode for today is the attack variant, and you'll face Borgong. You'll have a chance at receiving the failed Taradiddle bow upon completion, and a higher chance at Ascendant Alloy if done on Master difficulty. This week sees the arrival of the Defenses Down challenge for the Vowel Disciple raid, and like last week, no word on how to complete it. But if you do, you'll receive a bonus loot chest and another triumph towards completing the Disciple Slayer seal. This week's challenge for the Vaults of Glass is the Out of Its Way Challenge, and you'll have to prevent the Templar from teleporting in order to complete it. If successful, you'll receive an extra loot chest, and if done on Master Difficulty, the Adept Fatebringer. Fatebringer is an absolute banger for Grandmaster Nightfalls this season, so be sure to complete this challenge this week if you haven't already. Today's legend and Master Law Sector is Sepulcher, which can be found on Sabathun's Throne World. Upon completions, you have a chance at receiving exotics like Boots of the Assembler and Sacant Filaments, both of which have high viability in Grandmasters and other in-game content. For week 7 we receive a total of 5 new weekly challenges. The first is Legendary Psy Operative 3, which asks you to complete the Moon Battleground on Legend Difficulty. The second is Light Reclaimer 3 in which you also need to defeat Light Hoarders in the Moon Battleground. The third is Bring a Glaive, where you must defeat targets with Glaives, Hand Cannons, and Rockets in Gambit. Fleeting Glory, where you must complete Crucible matches in the Glory Rank playlist. And Grandmaster, where you will be asked to complete any strike on Grandmaster difficulty. That's everything for this week guys, so if you found this video to be useful, please subscribe, drop a like, and comment what you'll be getting into this week. Happy reset day guys, and I'll see you in the next one.